Hello again. Well, I was a child, my family used to visit Epping Forest, which lies on the outskirts of London. It's a beautiful stretch of ancient woodland. In those days, nobody would have dreamt of discarding so much as an empty bottle in the forest. I mean, if um, a young person dropped a sweet wrapper in there and it was seen by an adult, they would speak to the youth or child who would then shamefacedly pick up the offending item and slink off. Sometimes in the autumn, we'd pick a few mushrooms and take them home for a stew or something. That was quite common, you know, just a handful or two. Nobody needed to tell us only to take a few. It was just common sense. Obviously, we didn't want to denude the forest of the fungi and mushrooms and so on. The forest in those days was very beautiful, no litter or rubbish, and those visiting it cared about the place. I live now on the edge of Epping Forest, and it's changed a little in recent years. Well, it's changed a lot. For one thing, there are now prominent signs forbidding people to pick mushrooms. It's also used as a dumping ground for builders rubbish, old fridges, furniture, you name it, it's dumped on the verges of the forest or on the footpaths. There's a simple explanation for all this and it's really a microcosm of the country as a whole. When once families might take a handful of mushrooms just for their own use, these days uh, van loads of Eastern Europeans descend upon the forest and they strip it absolutely bare. They cause havoc to the ecosystem in the process. They gather sacks and sacks of mushrooms and then sell them to restaurants. The fly tipping is also carried out by foreigners. Polish builders who strip out an old kitchen in North London simply drive up to Epping Forest and then dump old kitchen units, ovens and anything else they happen to have. Then there's Asians who set up waste removal companies. <laughs> they charge people to remove waste and then they simply drive to Epping Forest and throw it all in the bushes and undergrowth there. The other group uh, who create a lot of mess like that are Irish tinkers. They sometimes set up camp and when they leave, they leave behind a detritus of old car batteries, refrigerators, burnt out cars and of course mounds of human excrement. They quite literally shit and move on. None of these people love the forest. For them it's a place to trash or despoil as the mood takes them. They didn't grow up knowing it. Why should they care about it? It's simply a rubbish dump or a way to make a few pounds by stripping away all the mushrooms there. The old rules and conventions that used to apply 50 years ago perhaps, mean absolutely nothing to them. This of course is precisely what has happened in the rest of the country in so many different areas. When I had my first job many years ago, the my new boss suggested that I might find it handy to have a bank account. And that was the simplest thing in the world. He simply rang up the manager of his local bank, recommended me, vouched for me, and I went down there and signed a few forms. And a few days later, I had a bank account. No identification, nothing at all. This all depended, of course, on everybody playing by the same set of rules. When millions of people began settling in the country who didn't care about the rules, had no interest in them, they just saw weakness to exploit and everything changed. This is why it's absolute murder to open a bank account these days and you need various documents and identification and then sometimes they'll still refuse to let you open a bank account because they're worried about being done for money laundering. It's also why an English person needs a passport to get a job in this country. Imagine that 40 years ago, that the time would come when you needed a passport in your own country. These are a few of the ways that large-scale immigration and joining the common market have altered things for the worse. 
I'm interested to know, and I'm sure people can put down in the comments now, can anybody think of any way that these things have changed the country for the better?